So you might be wondering, why is this even a question? Well, there are already some absurd questions regarding chicken. For example, why do the chicken cross the road? Which came first, the egg or the chicken? And so, why don't we add another question, the most basic one? What exactly is chicken? First of all, chicken is an animal, of course. It has no decord. It is a bird. It is in the order of chicken. And it is in the family of pheasant. Oh, before it is too late, I would like to clarify that when I say chicken, I mean the domesticated one and its hybrids of all ages and sex. The wild ones, I will call them jungle vowel. Also, different sources might use a different scientific name, such as Wikipedia, which uses Gallus domesticus. These technically made it a distinct species from the red jungle vowel. Since there is no reference stated in the Wikipedia classification, I'll just assume that the writer of the Wikipedia article uses the original classification by Linus in 1758, which assigned chicken as Gallus domesticus and red jungle vowel as Fasianus gallus. While this seems to be not a big deal, in taxonomy, it actually matters a lot whether to place an animal in the species or subspecies rank. So, for the sake of this video, I'll just use the classification which are commonly used in recent publication, which place chicken in the subspecies rank. Alright, moving on. By the rules of taxonomy, chicken is technically a subspecies of the red jungle vowel. The red jungle vowel itself is contained within a group of animal called the jungle vowel. There are four valid species of jungle vowel, which are the red jungle vowel, the Sulan jungle vowel, the gray jungle vowel, and the green jungle vowel. Oh, and the red jungle vowel has at least five recognized wild subspecies, not counting the domestic chicken. So, which of these animals are then domesticated into chicken? Well, quite simple, isn't it? Just delete the domesticus in the scientific name, and there you go. The answer. But it's actually not that simple. According to an amazing research, Gallus gallus padiceus is the ancestor to chicken. Even so, some chicken population also contains some DNA from other subspecies, even the other three jungle vole species. This is caused by the hybridization between chicken and the jungle vole, both deliberately or not. According to an archaeological findings, domestication of chicken happened in China around 6000 BC, which is by far the earliest known record. Domestication also occurred in India around 2500 to 2100 BC from the Harappan culture of Indus Valley. These two doesn't necessarily correlate with each other. Evidence of domestication in China, which predates the one in India, doesn't necessarily mean that the one from India came from China. Domestication in both of these areas also doesn't necessarily mean the chickens we are consuming nowadays are the descendant of the chickens. Moreover, the early domestication of chicken is most likely for animal sacrifice and cockfighting, rather than for consumption. More unrelated domestication could also happen in several areas of Southeast Asia, and it probably did. Who knows? Chickens have a lot of breed, like a lot lot, a lot more than cats and dog. According to FAO, there are at least 1,600 breeds of chicken. From the black and edgy ones like Ayam Chamani from Indonesia and Kadaknat from India, to the fluffy and goofy ones like the Silkies and Polish. In general, Chicken domestication leads to four uses and specialization. For meat, also known as broilers. For eggs, also known as layers. For display, 
and for cockfighting. The one bred for meat and eggs are quite obvious. It's for human consumption. The one bred for display could highlight the visuals or their crow, which is the word for the voice they made, especially for males. These ones are usually kept for contests, or, well, straight up as a pet for display. The one for cockfighting is selectively bred to be more vicious and stronger. Broilers breeding are actually relatively new, which probably just started around a century ago. Even so, the consumption of chicken meats are rapidly increasing. Broilers are selectively bred to be fast-growing. The chickens that we eat nowadays are, most of the time, actually not even mature. Layers are selectively bred to, basically, just become an egg-producing machine. Layers could lay an egg almost daily. In comparison, Red Jungleval, their ancestor, lays egg only during the breeding season. They lay eggs in clutch of about 3 to 8 eggs. Okay, but the thing is, because of the frequency of egg laying, Layers usually could only lay egg for a short amount of time. The long-lived layers could produce egg effectively for only about 100 weeks. Research has shown that, for layers, the lazier the chicken is, the higher the egg production, because more of the energy can be allocated to producing egg. For the fighter chickens, there was actually a research to the Qishang Banna breed that shows a positive selection in genes related to aggressiveness, immunity, metabolism, and muscle development. So yeah, that's kinda cool. There are several articles that you could find in Google which states the top rankers of cockfighting breed. Since it's not a scientific publication, and I basically knows nothing about cockfighting, I have no comments on that. You could check it out yourself if you want. By the way, if you remember earlier, I said that chicken can hybridize with other jungle vole, especially the red jungle vole, because they are the same species after all. And this is actually a bad thing for the red jungle vole population. According to research, the genetic diversity of the red jungle vole is being lowered by breeding with chickens. More of the chicken genes are found in red jungle vole. Basically, they became more chicken-like. And, you know, chickens are not really suited to survive in the wild. So, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, and, while I'm talking about chickens, did you know that there is a thing called the Dino Chicken Project by the paleontologist Jack Horner? Also known as Chickenosaurus. I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you are curious. And by the way, Jack Horner actually do post updates on this in his Twitter. So maybe check it out if you're interested. And so, there you go. What seems to be a simple creature that we all know is historically not simple at all. Who knows what will happen to chickens in the future? Will the chickenosaurs ever be created? Who knows? For now, let's just learn what is known. And probably enjoy some fried chicken if you want to. And that's all for now.